on, everybody? Dogman Dan here. We're back in Warframe. I gotta be honest. I'll tell you, I did that overview video last night, and I was so tired from work. I pretty much passed out for the night. Uh, so I'm back. It's Thursday now. Got a little more energy. So I'm gonna tackle this Excalibur a little bit more. Um, I, 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 you know, with work and all the new job, I kind of have, obviously, haven't had as much time to get prepared for the changeover and situation and hours and all that stuff I'm working. So just bear with me. I think by the weekend, we'll get ourselves back on track. I'll have a whole set, you know, videos that I can release each day uh, and stuff like that and obviously whatnot. But so there is a lot of good and a lot of, I can't say bad, about what's been changed. There is the fact that I will honestly tell you I would much have preferred to keep Super Jump and gotten rid of Radial Javelin. I never really liked Radial Javelin. As most of you know, I never even used really the ultimate for him. I was pretty much uh, Slash Dash and Radial Blind. And honestly, I don't see myself really using Radial Javelin much, even now that it's a third ability. Because to me, it's just it just doesn't do anything for me, personally. Um, the new Exalted Blade, I like the changes they did there. There is a lot going on in there, so I've still got a lot to go through myself personally um, before I can go ahead and say, here is a new setup that I really, really like for the way I play Excalibur as melee, which I, I don't think is going to take me too long to do, uh, to be honest, because I think there's just some minor tweaks and changes to what I had to really work it, to be able to work in the abilities. What I do like, though, what I do like, and you, you saw in the overview video, I got to use all the abilities, and guess what ability I didn't use? I didn't use Radial Javelin. But what I do like is that the other three abilities play in very well with each other. They just work well. Okay? Um, you can have yourself inside of the Exalted Blade and have that active, which you know is a toggleable ability now. And it sucks out energy. So it drains energy at like 5 energy a second, depending upon how you have yourself set up in terms of your power efficiency. Because it's all about power efficiency on this in order to keep it active. The more power efficient you are, the less drain you have, the longer you can keep it running. Uh, we are, we do know Energy Siphon is deactivated while using it. We know that Team Energy Restores are useless, but Energy Orbs are the only things that do work, so it works out really well in the voids. Um, I know that using Rage on here is going to work as well, so that's something else to keep in mind in terms of changes. Uh, attacking an enemy, though, with the Exalted Blade will also activate a Life Strike, but it will not drain any energy. So we have that feature in there as well, which is quite nice to have. Um, I could be wrong. It may be even less than five energy a second, but still, it's nice to be able to have that. So we know that energy siphon, energy restore is useless. Rage, yes, it's nice. It's got it. It has a life strike sort of in it. Uh, power efficiency is how it works. What's nice is when you have that activated, you can still utilize Slash Dash to get around and to slash your enemies up as well. And you can also use the Radial Blind, of course, which is like a thing that I use all the time. And I always use that Radiant Finish Syndicate mod, the Augment mod, but I'm going to have to take a look at that and see if the changes how else that works because you can also get some of that now from the Exalted Blade. Um, we know that the energy that shoots out of Exalted Blade does a punch through, so it will punch through enemies, it will punch through terrain. There is a, a maximum range on it, I don't know what it is, but you can punch through all that. I, I haven't gone through it all, all the way. Um, they have their own status chance and stuff, so I'm not sure what that is. I don't think anything is really affected on the energy waves, to be honest. Um, but the attacks made using the Exalted Blade uh, with Slash Dash active will feature energy wave attacks as well. I've found that out playing a little bit. Um, you do get your melee counter combos. Uh, actually, but only with the actual slashing of the weapon, not with the energy wave. Um, and you, you, can, you can utilize certain mods, I've found out now. With the Excalibur Blade, or the Exalted Blade, 
Um, you get auto parry or end reflection, which is awesome. But you can use some... Um, the actual weapon itself, let me just put that to you. The actual weapon itself doesn't matter. Um, but the mods that are on the weapon matters. So um, base damage mods will matter. Something like pressure point in those base damage style mods. Attack speed mods like Fury Berserker will work. Uh, critical damage mods. Critical chance mods. Status chance mods. Channeling mods. Element mods. Even the like steel charge aura would all work because it's based off of the mods you have on your weapon not the actual weapon just keep that in mind i know originally it was people saying oh great i'm gonna be using this weapon i'm gonna use this weapon for all that extra damage it has nothing to do with the actual weapon everything to do with the mods i think de did a great job with doing it that way so you're not really uh hurting another player uh, just because one guy, say, got the Dragon Nakana, and let's say somebody else has got, you know, a, a basic Plasma Sword or something. You know, something that's really lower level or that type of thing. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of cool. Uh, but I do have a lot more to kind of play around with it. I have been told that weapon augment mods like Bright Purity will contribute to status bonuses. Uh, but they will not make uh, any of their Syndicate exclusive radial effects. That Somebody told me that. I haven't really kind of checked it out yet. So, uh, But for now, we're going to keep playing around uh, a bit more. I just wanted to kind of give you guys some updates where I'm at with things. Maybe kind of answer a couple questions you may have. If you have more questions on it, please do feel free to comment below. And uh, I will get back to you on stuff in the next videos, next couple videos, as we kind of really explore this a little bit more to try to tweak our Excaliburs and get them to where they should be. Anyway, comments, questions, I'll catch you guys next episode. Thanks for watching, as always, and I will see you soon.